It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Considered the most famous magic act of all time, Siegfried and Roy went from touring the clubs of Europe to scoring their own headline residency as the hottest act in Las Vegas. The act, on which the two were accompanied by white lions and white tigers, performed over 30,000 shows. It all started aboard the cruise ship Bremen, when German-born Siegfried Fischbacher, born in 1939, met fellow German Uwe Ludwig Horn, better known as Roy Horn, who was five years younger. Together, they began their performance careers aboard the Bremen. The owner of the Astoria Theater in Bremen saw Fischbacher and Horn's act and recruited the duo to perform at her nightclub. This launched a career for the pair on the European nightclub circuit, and they began to perform with Tigers. They were discovered performing in Paris by Tony Azzi, who asked them to come to Las Vegas in 1967. Their first Vegas appearance was in the Folies Berger at the Tropicana Hotel. They also spent some time in Puerto Rico, and they have purchased property there. In 1981, promoter Ken Feld hired the duo for the Beyond Belief show at the New Frontier Hotel and Casino. A revamped version of the show was taken on a world tour in the third quarter of 1988. In February 1990, Siegfried and Roy moved their act to the Mirage Resort and Casino, which was regarded as the most visited show in Las Vegas. All of that changed on October 3, 2003, Roy Horn's 59th birthday, when a seven-year-old white tiger named Monocor attacked Horn. As part of the act, but veering off script, Horn held his microphone to Montecor's mouth and told him to say hello to the audience. Montecor responded by biting Horn's sleeve. Horn swatted the tiger and barked release, while standby trainers unsuccessfully attempted to distract the cat with cubes of meat. Possibly incited by Horn's retreat, the tiger leapt at Horn, swinging at his legs and knocking him off his feet. As trainers rushed in from offstage to assist, Montecor bit into Horn's neck and dragged him offstage. Trainers got the tiger to release Horn by spraying him with CO2 fire extinguisher canisters, the last resort available. The attack severed Horn's spine, resulted in massive blood loss, and severely injured other parts of his body, permanently impairing his motor and verbal abilities. He also had a stroke either before or after Montecor dragged him offstage. Horn later said that Montecor saved his life by trying to drag him to safety. The incident prompted the barrage to halt any further shows. By 2010, Fischbacher and Horn had fully retired from show business. In 2014, Monocor died after brief illness at the age of 17. In 2016, it was announced that Fischbacher and Horn would produce a feature-length biopic documenting their lives. In April 2020, Roy Horn tested positive for COVID-19. One month later, he was dead at the age of 75. On January 11, 2021, Siegfried Fischbacher announced he had terminal pancreatic cancer. He died two days later at the age of 81. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.